NVIDIA and AMD GPU pricing have been all over the place, but mostly they've been going up pretty high. Let's talk about which GPUs you should look to get and which you should avoid depending on your budget. And also, if you're building your PC, remember to check out today's sponsor. That's going to be VIP-CDK Deals. They're going to give you Windows 10 Pro CD keys, actually for a really good price. It's one of the only things still staying reasonably affordable, unlike all of the GPUs, especially if you use my code CC. 20 they're offering 30 percent off windows 10 pro cd keys the great news is that they're going to be able to translate to windows 11 so whenever time comes that you finally want to upgrade if you haven't done so already you're going to be able to use those keys without having to buy them at all i've been using it for quite some time without any issues and remember use my code cc20 for 30 percent off Hey guys, Tiago here with Classical Technology, so let's get right into it. The GPU landscape can be a little bit confusing with pricing changing all over the place. There are various models to look out for, so let's talk about a few of like the main ones that you may actually encounter day to day if you're looking to purchase a GPU. Now, certainly budget GPUs have not been a thing for quite some time. There have been some recent introductions, however. Now, you're going to first see the AMD 6500 XT. This really leads to much much controversy basically it's like a laptop gpu that's now a you know discrete gpu it's supposed to come in at 199 i actually saw it um, for sale at micro center the other day but for 269 and the word on the street here is pretty much avoid this gpu at all costs um, i think it really performs extremely poorly it's a terrible value it performs worse than some of the gpus from years ago it's really not a nice spot in pc gaming i know they really released it you know maybe to just help some with the demand and you know maybe some people were going to be able to buy it on the budget sector but honestly i really don't think we need this at this point i even mentioned it before at the price level that this gpu was at you might as well go out and buy an xbox series s that's you know 299 is the msrp you can sometimes find it in stock it's not as hard as the playstation 5 or some other consoles and it's going to give you a much superior gaming experience especially with game pass it's going to absolutely destroy the AMD 6500 XT for only like 30 bucks more. That's really where the value is and 30 bucks just for the GPU by the way. If you're looking to build a whole system you're still going to have to buy your case motherboard CPU and this is coming from a diehard you know PC gamer and a PC builder. I'm telling you get an Xbox instead of a 6500 XT. Now the Nvidia 3050 has also just you know recently um, you know been announced. I think it's releasing today or, or officially tomorrow. It's going to be of course a better GPU than a 6500 XT as far as some of the early reviews show um, but most likely it is going to be a bit expensive it's supposed to be around 250 bucks but you can expect the scalper tax to bring it up to 350 400 bucks sometimes which as expensive as it may be is still going to be cheaper than other things on the market like a 3060 sometimes as well over six to seven hundred bucks so in the budget entry level, I mean, if you had a choice between an RTX 3050 and a 6500 XT, all day go to the 3050. Even if you pay a price premium, at least you're getting a real GPU and not something that's antiquated and it's just going to be probably frustrating to use. At least the 3050 has some characteristics of the higher end GPUs and it's not a complete embarrassment, albeit the price is still going to be an issue. It's still going to be more expensive than it should be, but at least we have something approaching a budget option here. Now, if you can step up your option, the 3060, while it's a pretty decent choice for the most part, the 3060 in many cases is still going to be a little bit too expensive. I think where the GPU starts to get pretty good is going to be around the 3060 Ti level. 3060 Ti is going to be a little bit of a cut down RTX 3070, so you're going to get pretty good performance. I mean, if you can stretch the 3070, that's a fantastic GPU. It's going to depend on the price that you have to pay. Some of these RTX 3070s are getting pretty close to 900, 1,000 bucks. So that's definitely the price of what uh, you know high-end GPUs used to be. But your mileage may vary here. You may be able to get a 3060 Ti for a little bit cheaper. If you look over to the AMD side, um, better than the 6500 XT at least. The 6600 XT, while uh, you know you can find it for the five to six hundred dollar range, it's not going to be quite like a 3070 level. But it still is a pretty decent GPU, especially for the money that you have to pay no way around it prices have just gone 
gone up across the board. Much better, of course, than the 6500 XT. That shouldn't even be in the conversation. So if you want to consider AMD, you do have those on the market as well. And as you get to that sort of 3070 level, you will also see the 6700 XT. In my opinion, these are way too expensive. These are like $900 to $1,000 in a lot of cases. Um, even the MSRP, I'm not even talking about sort of the scalper price. These, I would definitely go for a 3060 Ti or a 3070 instead. Things only get interesting against the 3070 when you reach the 6800. These have been inflated to 1100 or 1200, so your mileage may vary there. I may still prefer a 3070 if you're going to be paying that much more for a 6800. And then where the price starts to climb rather quickly is when you get to the level of the RTX 3080, especially the new 12 gigabyte 3080. This one's MSRP, as far as we can see from like EVGA and the like, way over 1200 bucks. So 12, 1300 bucks. You're probably gonna be after tax like, you know, 1400 at least for a GPU of this caliber. It's getting pretty close to a 3080 Ti. If you're really in that level, I would try to see if you can get a 3080 Ti instead of the, you know, the 3080 12 gigabyte just going to be a little bit better even though they're very very close i would basically choose them based upon what price that you're you know you can see whichever one you can get a better price on now competition here on the amd side 6800 xt not as interesting i think it's going to be a little overpriced compared to some of the nvidia options for sort of what you get and the resale value in the future but if you can find a cheap 6900 xt that's around that 14 to 1500 bucks range which we have seen recently that may actually be a really good bang for your buck because then you're competing with like a 3090 level GPU in terms of traditional rasterization and you're getting a very potent GPU for considerably cheaper than a 3090. Something like that certainly will compete very well with a 3080 and certainly with a 3080 Ti. Even though it must be said a 3080 Ti, especially for gaming, is very close to a 3090 and at much less the cost. Now the 3090 has its advantages with crypto mining as we know they've sold a lot of them because of that. It also has the advantages for content creators and people that actually want that 24 gigabytes of VRAM, but typically for a gamer, 3080 Ti is going to be pretty much the top GPU. It's going to range from the EVGA, you know, a 3080 Ti for the 1.3. That seems to be one of the cheaper third-party ones in the $1,400 range. Of course, the Founders Edition goes all the way down to $1,199 if you're lucky enough to find one of those. That's a very good deal. Founders Edition at their original MSRPs are some of the best deals you're going to find on any GPUs at all, but they only have happen at Best Buy and these sort of sporadic drops. Careful though, because the 3080 Ti can go all the way up MSRP to over $2,000, such as the 3080 Ti Strix from Asus. Now, I do like Asus products, but in this case, they're just really, really overpriced. They're not really giving you anything extra, especially not over the EVGA GPUs. Build quality seems to be pretty much the same. Performance is, you know, here or there, it's not really that big of a difference. You're just paying for sort of that Asus name and the Asus theme. So certainly I would avoid that. And if anything, get the Tough, which has really really good performance and is going to be probably a few hundred dollars cheaper than the equivalent Strix model. Now, EVGA certainly is the best bang for your buck, but you do have MSI and Zotac and all these other GPUs. Sometimes Zotac's quality control and Gigabyte, they make some great products, but they have maybe a little bit more complaints than something like uh, EVGA or Asus may have. And of course, EVGA does have a really good warranty, even though some of their 3090s, you know, uh, in the past did have issues that they had to replace, like playing that uh, Amazon game, New World. So certainly your mileage may vary there. So as we get to the end of the list, I mean, 3090s are the only thing left. If your budget calls for that and you just want the biggest, baddest GPU, remember the 3090 Ti may be released soon. Remember that the 3090 Ti may come out soon. So if you want the biggest, baddest GPU, uh, regardless of the cost, hold out for that. It's certainly going to be very expensive. Otherwise, the 3090, I would only get one, let's say if you can get a Founders Edition for the original MSRP of $1499, that's a pretty good deal. I mean, that's now a very good GPU for that price considering the market, but otherwise, it's way too expensive for what you get, over $1,800 or $2,000 for the 3090. If all you're doing is gaming, better to save three or 400 bucks and get a 3080 Ti. You're going to get very similar performance and a considerable savings in terms of the price. Now. The bigger question here is, should you even buy a GPU now if the RTX 4000 may be released, you know, later this year? We don't know yet, 
when those GPUs are coming. And right now, GPU prices still are pretty high, even though the cryptocurrency market did have a little bit of a, a dip, which is now going back up. Some GPUs did drop a little bit in price, but it hasn't been enough time to really drop them anywhere near MSRP. So it's not like you're going to be able to get a great deal on GPUs now. They're still going to be a little bit too high for most people's comfort. It's possible we will see a more significant dip if something does happen to crypto mining, like with Ethereum going proof of stake. That certainly may shake up the market considerably. Even if other coins are used, you're going to have a lot of people selling off due to very low profitability. But till that happens, GPU prices, at least until the second half of 2022, likely will stay pretty elevated, you know, close to what uh, this point is now. And by the time they do go down, you're probably going to have the question, should you buy if the new RTX 4000 or whatever AMD is going to release is going to be coming out eminently? We're going to be even closer at that point. Then, unless you get a really good deal on a current RTX 3000 series, it may be better to wait a couple of months and try to have some luck. Maybe availability may be a little better with RTX 4000. That's what NVIDIA has told us. We don't know yet, however, and I'm sure they're going to be planning to not only raise the price considerably of the next generation, but at least have sufficient stocks so they're not caught by surprise like they were with the launch of the RTX 3000 series. All right, guys, so let me know what you think. What GPUs are a buy in the current market? if you find them for a reasonable price which ones should you flat out avoid of course just like the 6500 xt i think that's a big no-brainer just avoid that one but there's some other gpus if you happen to find them at their msrp especially the founders edition they're actually a pretty good value in terms of what the market looks like now which is crazy to think nobody liked the 1500 3090 but after we went through what we did with the gpu market it actually seems like a pretty good price in hindsight so let me know what you think remember to subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video.